from Random Memories. Penny loafers with the real pennies in them she wore. I just remember that. She did? Oh, yeah. Yes. She got, she'd get her brand new leather loafers. She'd get a big shiny penny. She'd stick it in there. I wore penny loafers all the time. Walks through the gully to go shopping. Mom, <laughs> Mom was to Penny's and the Singer Sewing Store, and Dad was to Corette's. He never walked there. Ah! Wait a second. Dad I was to what? pause right now, man? Because it's some of this stuff that I didn't know about. Yeah. You actually walked in the gully. Yes. Yeah, right. I didn't know you knew what the gully was. That's where these guys used to drink. Those guys, yeah. I never drank <laughs> there. <laughs> ah! give, I mean, that's where they all don't used to go give drink our beer. Stuff away, we might get in trouble. Oh, ah! you're punished. You got yeah. your room. Yeah, we'll we'll have to go to bed early. The gully that goes from what was the, the back of the Yeah. Yeah, I was waiting for you to do that this morning. I thought you were going to. No, the gully was the path. That's what we used to. Yeah, no, not just the path, but the gully was the whole gully. The stream all the way to the back that would have ended up meeting our backyard. Mike Hodge, we used to go down there and have and do fires. In the winter, Mike Hodge literally took a chainsaw down there and cut trees down so that we could have, yeah, a chainsaw and cut trees down in the gully so that we could have um, logs for our fires. I bet you there's still stuff down there because we used to take like a big clump, a big clump of grass. You would pull the top of it and you could hide things under yes. it in the dirt. Yes, I'm sure that there's, there's still... probably a six pack of low brow down there. There's probably <laughs> tons of six packs. <laughs> Daddy, I yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God! There's probably tons. And we I could probably I like go beer. down there and dig bottles down there and find oh, yeah. them from us drinking down there, and from every you generation. What are your memories? I got through two sentences. And okay, I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, this will take all night. I was so surprised that Mom well, was fine. in the gully. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. she walked Robin and I through really? the gully to Audubon Shopping Center until the hobos started showing up. Yeah, the hobos. Okay, they're, so they're now called Hobo Americans. Well, Linda lived there when I was filling the porch. The porch in... One, one wait, board the, a week. Wait, the porch or the new room? The, the new, room. new room. Yeah. Ah, well, this yeah, I always call this the new room. Big, I have a new room. Why? Yeah, chair. which one? It was real... Oh, the oh last my God, room. yes. Yeah. That, that yeah. big, yeah. curvy you were, chair. You were being friendly with a motorcycle guy. I come home one night. Oh, the velvet chair? Yeah, and oh, the we yeah. love that chair. It was nice Remember? chair, really. It's comfortable. Yeah, the motorcycle. Yeah, was probably happening. I don't remember that. Yeah. Funny. My ETA for this is going to be 1 a.m. <laughs> now, go ahead, Trace. <laughs> when the hands start going like this close to four, put me to bed tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, sewing. Everything that can be made for us kids and the home, and it all looked great. She is so creative. When I visited their home in South Carolina recently, I was amazed at the creativity in their home. All decorated by mom and so beautiful. I love all the watercolor paintings she's displayed around the house. Cooking. Mom always, <laughs> always made the best cakes and pies from cherry cheesecake to lemon meringue pie. For our birthdays, we each got our favorite cake or pie made to celebrate. She was so busy when we were growing up cooking three meals a day, taking care of four kids and dad, going to college and working as a preschool teacher. It was amazing. Some meals suffered as a result. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that scrambled eggs weren't brown until I left home and had them made by someone else. She always cracked the eggs and left a shell in the cooked eggs. Being the great person she is, she offered us a penny if you found a shell in your <laughs> egg. I think she still owes us at least a couple hundred dollars for all the shells we ate. There were a lot of meals she made that were very tasty. To this day, Mom made the best homemade french fries ever. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, oh, she God, did. We she were just did. talking about them oh. last night. Yeah. Whenever we would come home to visit, she made sure to have the foods we like and a meal that was our favorite. School. Mom always encouraged us to do our best. Yep. She had weekly spelling tests for Robin and I so we could <laughs> explore. <laughs> <laughs> vocabulary. Stacy, she didn't have any for me because I suck at spelling. I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, I do. And refused to tell us how a word was spelled so we would look it up in the dictionary. I hate it. But I learned how to spell words correctly at an early age and now hate seeing words misspelled anywhere. Yep. Oh, mom's spelling bee competition as a kid kicked in when she became a mom. I was so proud of my mom when she and I both graduated from high school and college in the same month. I'm glad she encouraged us, all of us kids to go to college. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> she always taught us to know right from wrong. I forgot to so add the part about that. The bridge, the bridge book. book. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait, update. It's the bridge move. book she always that you stole. Taught us how to know right from wrong, listen to our conscience, and treat people how we wanted to be treated. She never lied and taught us to do the same until she stole a book. <laughs> Last week, 
I know, that's hysterical. Favoritism. Mom and dad were always ah! consistent in their discipline approach. Whenever one said, whatever one said, the other parent never went against that. Mom and dad truly loved us all. I'm going to cry. Oh, that's okay. Um, for our uniqueness, and never showed favoritism to any one of us. <laughs> Mom, of course, loved me as her favorite firstborn. <laughs> We siblings loved teasing, teasing each other about how much we all thought that we were her favorite. One year we found Christmas ornaments that said favorite firstborn, favorite secondborn, <laughs> so on. That way we could all be her favorites always. Okay, Jim, can you read the rest? Probably not. Love. Love. Mom always made us feel love. When I was a junior. When I was in junior high, at the most awkward stage in my life, she would write love notes. Oh my God, <laughs> I forgot about that. And place them in my lunch mm -hmm. bag. Lunch bag, wow. My yeah. friends made fun of me, but I'm sure they were really jealous. They didn't get that tail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give it to me, yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's true. Yours is, mine's not mushy, so I <laughs> Oh, I know. My friends were always jealous of the yeah, love notes. Yeah, I know. Um, are you still reading Tracy? Yeah. Yes. This is Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the classic mom was writing her note on paper with a flare pen and hiding uh -huh. it inside the yeah. little sandwich. <laughs> I thought it was clear Was clear that day with no one to taste paper when I threw the sandwich. But I took it apart and the flare pen ink had run onto my bologna. <laughs> onto the bologna. I know. Uh, I just wrote that. Didn't you see I just wrote that? Mom also started a tradition of leaving Chiquita <laughs> yep. on my clothes before I went to school. Chiquita banana stickers. Oh, my God. Oh, yep. I, I always, put them everywhere. I always try to find them, but they somehow made their way to my clothes unnoticed by me, but not by not to everyone else. She continued to stick me with stickers even after I left home, hiding them in my suitcase before I went home so mm -hmm. she knew I was loved and not forgotten. Mom and Dad, they've been in love since teenagers and are still going strong. We kids are always so to have such loving parents who truly loved each other and were willing to work things out when the going got tough. I honestly do not remember an argument that was bad between them. Even though they may have disagreed with each other, they always found a way to make it work. They've been best friends and the most wonderful example of how to give love and compassion. For this, I am truly grateful that my mom my mom that's all in bold ah, crazy yep <laughs> very nice that's crazy. if that's true i thought i could swear your name was jesus christ yes <laughs> <laughs> i forgot that your name is robin tracy joyce <laughs> whoever you are